Hey there guys, my name is Marcus from e-commerce style and in this video I'm going to guide you how we can easily use the global product options and variants uh, for your Shopify store. Now if you first time here, I'm writing a newsletter about how we can make more money with your Shopify store, increase conversion, make your site better, new apps on the market and even new e-commerce news. So if you're interested, you're going to find a link down below in the description. And now let's focus on um, this app and how we can use it. So in my opinion, this app learning curve is a little bit higher. So this app is amazing if you're going to have for custom marks or let's just do the custom mark together and we will see how it goes or custom hoodies, a custom big in which a person would choose uh, like options for it, right? So it's a little bit, it's going to take a little bit of time in my opinion. Uh, to create it right and i definitely recommend if you can have any issues uh just share your thoughts with the global product options customer support so they are going to help you so how does it work now when you're gonna uh, choose a plan here you're gonna have elements and then products so you're gonna have elements and then you're gonna choose a specific product whatever element you're gonna create on the left it will appear on your product page so here when I'm going to choose elements, I can have text, text area, number, phone, email, daytime, file upload, choice list, uh, swatch, like button, color swatch, image swatch. Got no idea what that means, but we will see. I never use these two. And static text. So I'll just test this out because I just want to know what is happen what happens here. Color. So we're going to add like, like colors a person can choose, right? Yep. So they can choose a color. That's what is the color swatch. We we know it already what it means. Uh, or you can have like image swatch. Now, let's say that we're going to have um, like a custom t-shirt, right? So what we would need for custom t-shirt. I'm going to change the text. T-shirt. So first, let's have a text there. And a label is going to be right here what you want to have on t-shirt okay and then we have the add-on on product that means that click to select an add-on product and connect to an option the selected product will be added to the cart page along with the main product to increase the order's total costs so let's say we're gonna have it for this one default title and we're gonna have like five here right you can choose uh, automate generate product or you can select the product on the right side so that will we have now when i'm going to go back here and i would go to products and i'm going to select the product i'm going to choose this one here and I'm going to press, let's say next. So let's, we just added a text for now because I want to see how it looks like for you. Then when you're going to choose an edit, like would you want to have a special options for a person? We have to enable the app. Okay, I'm going to enable it, save. Here we go to next step. And see, oh, look at this. Right here, what you want on t shirt. Now, if you're going to have like pure white side, this is going to be good. But as you can see, I have like a different color. So it looks different. Right here, what you want to have on t shirt. And you see right now that we have the plus five euro to order. So now that it's going to be nine euro, it's going to be plus five. So wait a second, I made a mistake here. So when we go to products and I want to have this one, selections will add five euro to the price. Okay. And now you see there is the t-shirt and then there is this five euro. So this is how it works. I see the options and we got it. 
Now, in the moment when you're gonna have it, and you will create your own first like add-on, you will see the analytics like total sales, or total orders, and you're gonna have plenty of guides here on mm, how you can do it, right? How we can use it. When we go again to the option set here next to the dashboard, and let's edit a custom t-shirt, we're gonna add new elements here. So right now we got uh, the text. Let's see what we can find more. We can have like text area, and you see it's much bigger. This is similar comparing that you would have with the text, but you see it's just bigger. I'm going to remove it. Uh, you're gonna have also the conditional logic options that you're gonna have like when this happens, when, um, when, when you want to, like which variants you want to hide. If someone is going to choose this variant, then you're not going to show it, etc., etc. right? Then you're gonna have the numbers, okay? So what we can have for numbers of possibly, I don't know, on a Mac or something. I, I can really right now figure out on which specific thing you would have a number, but a person could write there and you could have again add on product and then you can have also required field here. Then you're gonna have, if you want to have like email address, where do you want me to, I don't know, write you or a date time even, in which specific date you would like to come and get it, right? If you, if you have only that people come to your store to uh, set it up for you. So let's say some kind of week for hair or nails. I don't know. Maybe you could even sell nails. I don't know. So we can have like daytime here. And again, when you would like to come and get it. And you would have that. So when we go further, we're going to have the file upload. If they want to have something specific, like an image, they can upload a file. Then we're going to find a drop down, radio button and checkbox. So drop down, you can have like multiple values here in which uh, you would add it then to the price. So let's say that you can have, when we have it for t-shirt, uh, we can be on a drop down I'm thinking right now yeah what kind of uh, quality of the material you want let's say right quality of material and then we're gonna have option one which is going to be like super quality option two average option three not that every not that good and it's going to be add on price five four and three okay save then we go again back and we can have radio button so this is something a person can choose uh, like let's say when we have the quality material What's another thing that we would ask, right? We can go with, I don't know, similar things, but you could see right here in this global, what they're used is like stylist color technique, professional cut and style. So that's something you can do design, front, back sleeves, color hoodie. So let's say when we go radio button, you can also choose and use the checkbox. If you want to use checkbox. Then when we go further, you're gonna have also the swatch. So that's something you can add. Uh, but what I want to show you is to add like the color swatch, right? So I'm going to add here the color swatch and let's say I'm going to have the red one. Or we can have the black one. Or we can add also the blue one. So add on price can be, and now what you can do if you're going to have the specific product, uh, when a person is going to click on it, it's like change or something, right? So you're going to filter the product or again, you can add a, a new price here.
right? So I hope I gave you a little bit of value on how we can use this um, app to your benefit. I didn't go really to conditional logic options, but you need to like play around with it because I don't know what kind of products you have, of course, right? And uh, then you're gonna have the heading, divider, and paragraph that you can have a static text, which is not going to be anything that a person has to fill out, right? So like, let's say you're gonna have a divider. So you can create a full description with full products and everything uh, for this app, which is pretty good. And now when we go back to the, to the, our catalog, wait a second, I'll just remove everything here. And I'm going to here, look at this. What do you want to have on t-shirt? Nothing. And now we're going to choose a date, quality of material. And then we're going to choose checkbox radio button. And then which kind of color we want, add to cart. And you see selections. Selections will add 12 euro to the price. Okay. And we see right here, everything. that we have everything added out to our store. So that's pretty much it about how we can use the global product options and variants. Hope I gave you a little bit of value, what you can do with it, how we can use it. It's pretty good app, but you have to set it up right and definitely use the customer service and their support if you can have any issues because even my understanding of it is like, okay, it's good, but it's a little bit limited uh, on how I get it because the condition formatting I would have to find, I, I would have to understand your own product that you have to know how to set it up for you. This is just a quick guidance on what you can do with it. So thank you very much and have a great day and goodbye.